Hello, this is Apostle Pastor T. Randolph. Welcome to another episode of I Care, wanting you to know on this great day that the Lord really cares for you, and so do I. This is a great day to be alive. It's a great day to worship God, to bless and honor his name. The last session we met, I talked to you about the importance of worship, the importance of praise. But let me show you some examples here in the Bible uh, concerning that. And I want you to look with me at Acts, the 16th chapter. Hallelujah. In Acts 16, 25, and at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God. And the prisoners heard them. And verse 26, it says, and, the, and suddenly... There, came, there was a great earthquake, so the foundations of the prisons were shaken, and immediately all the doors were all opened, and everyone's bands were loosed. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Now, here these men are, they're put in prison. They're put in prison for worshiping God, for serving God, for doing the works of God. As they're put in prison, let me show you what happened. They were not delivered by some natural power. But it was a supernatural power that was garnered up or, or, or brought in because of the fact that they praised God. They sang unto God at midnight. Now, watch this. At midnight, they sang and they praised, but watch what happened. The prisoners heard them to do that. Now, that says to me they were not quiet about it. That says to me that they were not ashamed of the gospel. That says to me they were willing and ready and able to honor God and to worship God no matter what the circumstances might be. And so what I find with us a lot of times is no matter what happens and when things challenge us, then many times we back up. Well, Apostle Paul and Sal, they did not back up. They stood their ground. They praised God anyway. And out of their praising God, a miraculous, miraculous thing happened. Earthquake was shaked their place. Now watch this. I want you to see something very important. Very important. I said it shook the foundations of the jail. So that says to me it didn't affect anything else, amen, but it did affect the jail where they were kept. It shook the foundation and their bands, what had them tied up, were loosed. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Can you imagine you being in a place of captivity and God shakes the place because you praised and you worshiped him and immediately the shackles came off of you? Hallelujah. And I say it again that the prisoners heard it. So it wasn't quiet. They heard this. Amen and glory to God. And then as a result of them praising and worshiping God, worshiping God, watch what happens. Again, the earthquake came. And they were loosed from their captivity. Isn't God awesome? Isn't he? I care. Mm -hmm.